it leaves many wondering what's up. So we turn to a Southern Colorado man who attempts to explain the unexplained. News first, Nicole Vandeputty joins us live in Ute Valley Park, and he's investigating a bizarre discovery there. He is. It's two faces that appear to be carved in rock here at Ute Valley Park. Now, you have to hike in a little ways to see them, but it's a pretty neat sight if you can actually find it. It's the love of the unknown. That love draws Chuck Zikowski deep into Ute Valley Park. You know, every one of our UFO investigations, you know, we do mark with the GPS unit. Okay. I found it. His find is tucked behind two boulders, and the first one isn't so easy to spot. Um, it looks to me like, like the, you know, you had the eyes here, and then you have the bridge of the nose come down. And the other formation is just right around the corner here. And the tongue sticking out, uh, the way the nose is, and, and just the way that the eyes are, are, are designed, and, you know, the Jay Leno chin. Zukowski wants it explained. Was it Native Americans? Or was it someone that, you know, a few years ago just decided to carve it? Or? As an investigator, UFO investigator, we always look at that one or two percent chance of what it could be. He brought out an archaeologist and parks worker. Still, no explanation for these faces. There's some interesting things, some strange things that are going on out there. And, uh, you know, one of my hobbies is to go after it and try and come up with an explanation. That quest took him to Trinidad this week. He's investigating two cow mutilations about 20 miles apart. The first one he heard about from our story last week. The second was reported just a few days later. So it's very, very unusual uh, for Colorado to have back-to-back -back cattle mutilations. He's taken samples from both cows to be tested at CSU in Fort Collins, and he's open to the possibilities. You have to look at all the possibilities of what it could be rather than, you know, what it can't be. Sounds strange, but it won't stop his search to explain the unexplained. Now, he didn't want us to give out the exact location of where those faces are because, obviously, you don't want them to get ruined. Now, the archaeologist student that came out here took some pictures, and he said he'd like to just find out how old those face carvings are, if nothing else. Nicole Vandepati, News First.